Hello, everybody. Please meet Afnirsi 1014D, one of the most affordable entry-level digital oscilloscopes on the market. Many buyers choose Afnirsi 1014D as their first ever oscilloscope because it's really compact and lightweight. In handling it, you can explore the fundamentals and understand which of the oscilloscope's functions and capabilities meet your specific troubleshooting and measurement needs. All in all, the 1014D is a dual-channel oscilloscope with a bandwidth of 100 MHz, a sampling rate of 1 giga sample per second, and a storage depth of 240 kilobit. Its sensitivity range is between 50 mV and 20 V per division, and the minimum sweep speed is 10 ns. The device comes with a 7-inch, 800 by 480 bright TFT LSD display. The display is matte and thus anti-glare, and the display size ensures optimal comfort of use. By the way, most entry and mid-level oscilloscopes are equipped with 7-inch displays, while higher-end models come with 8 or 10-inch displays. All the controls are located on the front panel. The oscilloscope features a built-in signal generator. The memory supports 14 standard waveforms and one arbitrary waveform that may be captured and stored in the oscilloscope's memory. Maximum frequency is 10 MHz for a sine wave and 2 MHz for other signals. Automatic measurements are displayed on the right side of the screen. Pressing this button unlocks access to displayed parameters. You can select up to six different parameters to display. Waveforms and screenshots may be saved for secondary analysis. Also available are cursor measurement, and triggering functions, the latter in automatic, single and normal modes. Synchronization may be triggered on the rising or falling edge of the signal slope. Through the device menu you can access save screenshots and waveforms, adjust display brightness, launch a calibration routine and use plenty of other features. And of course, you can restore factory defaults. The 1014D may be connected to a computer with a USB cable. The computer will detect it as a removable external drive. You may then copy saved files to your computer for secondary analysis and study. The device comes complete with two measuring probes, one for each of the two channels an alligator clip probe for the signal generator, a USB cable, a power cable, and two power plugs for different power outlets. The oscilloscope runs on a 5V power supply source. Thus, a regular power bank may provide sufficient power to use the 1014D in the field whether or not power grid connection is available on site. As a result, power grid interference affecting the test signal is eliminated. Let's do some testing. This electronic clock board has a 12 MHz quartz crystal oscillator. We'll record the signal at the oscillator outputs. The display shows the waveform as well as its frequency and amplitude. Don't forget to like and share our video review and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Stay tuned for more from us.